Hi and welcome back to the lab. Well, as you can see, I'm already working here on a QRP power amplifier. So that is the CU um, XPA125B. Well, maybe I have some uh, hints for you if you are already using this QRP um, power amplifier or if you're interested to buy one of those little amplifiers. Basically, we need to say that uh, this amplifier was mainly built um, that it can be used on a CU radio. So that is uh, where it was made for. But of course, uh, you can um, use any other little QRP radio connected to this power amplifier. But then you really have to um, operate the uh, power amplifier manually uh, because not everything will work if you do not use a CU radio, okay? So I know many um, who are using an ICOM IC705 using this little power amplifier and well they have here and there some little problems and uh, well let me show you what uh, you really need to consider okay this little um, amplifier came in and uh, well the customer said that the automatic tuner does not work on um, 15 meter okay and uh, he's uh, of course not using an XEU uh, radio because uh, you must know that uh, there is a cable from uh, an original XEU radio to the amplifier where uh, you know the ALC and uh, the automatic uh, band select is activated and uh, that is what you really need. So you need a proper set uh, ALC and you need, uh, if you're using the XIU radio, this wire because then uh, your uh, amplifier can automatically change the band, okay? But if uh, you do not have it, you really need to do it manually. So look here, you can uh, scroll through. Um, and now I'm of course on the 15 meter band and I have here connected an um, Yaozu FT857. And yes, right, that is no QRP radio, but I made it um, a QRP radio because as you can see here, I uh, put an attenuator in between so that is a 10 dB attenuator and that means if I am using um, here my radio um, with uh, 5 watt so that means it is only 0.5 watt so we get the reduction on uh, 10 dB and that means if I put it up here to uh, 50 watt that means that now because of uh, the attenuator we uh, have 5 watt at the output behind our 10 dB attenuator and uh, additional to that I have here my uh, test uh, dummy load so that is a dummy load uh, which has an SWR of 3 to 1 so that is uh, something I need uh, to adjust uh, SWR bridges and so forth and so forth. But it all also helps if uh, we are working on uh, power amplifiers like this, where we have the complaint that uh, the automatic tuner is not really working. And yes, um, it is a little bit uh, complicated because many times uh, together here with a normal radio, so normal means not an uh, CU radio, you need to do 
everything in a little different way. Well, first, when I go uh, back here to 5 watt, which means it is, um, it is really 0 0.5 watt, half of a watt, okay? And uh, now, when I transmit, so you see uh, the amplifier, I'm not sure if that is readable, but I hope, uh, because the amplifier is switched off, uh, but our antenna tuner is switched in. So now, uh, this here is my PTT, and of course, you need to use this little a connector um, at the back side of the, the power amplifier um, to get your PTT information over to the radio. So I do it manually and I simply connect it here to ground, so that is what you need. And uh, you see that here my display is uh, going over to transmit. Okay, so now uh, it is uh, ready for uh, transmit and now when I press here my radio so you see hmm, it is uh, not really working and uh, I cannot really tune you see nothing happens and uh, you may think oh there is something wrong Okay, so let me switch in um, the power amplifier. Okay, so again, I only have my half of an watt here. And now I go into transmit. And maybe you hear the click. Now our uh, power amplifier is engaged. And now when I press uh, my PTT here, so you may see that it is reporting a high SWR. Not sure if you can see it, so let me go here a little closer and we do the procedure once again. So you see it is 4.6, 4.8, so that is not nice and uh, it I cannot start here my uh, tuning procedure and you may think, oh, my amplifier does not really work. Okay, but when we really look here into our manual, you see uh, if you want to use the auto tuner, so you need minimum 5 watt, which uh, you know uh, get transmitted into um, our amplifier because otherwise it wouldn't work. Okay, so let's try if it will work if you really put it to 5 um, watt. So you see I have here 50 watt, remember, 10 dB attenuation. That means that uh, we have now 5 watt at the input. Um, so yeah, let me, let me switch uh, off here uh, our power amplifier. You see it is off. And uh, now, when uh, we try to transmit, you see um, that uh, we get 5.5 uh, watt to the input. So that is then uh, correct. But uh, what you see as well, um, we get uh, 5 watt output. So we have a little bit loss here on or over our uh, antenna tuner, which is on but uh, still we have a too high SWR. Hmm. Okay, not nice. Uh, when I now switch on my power amplifier once again and uh, we go to transmit, and now let's check what happens now. Oh wow, so you see a uh, high reverse and you have seen that uh, we had too much output power, look here, once again and well it it does not it does not really work so let me switch off once again our power amplifier okay and once again let's check our input it is 5.6 
and we have a 5 watt output and auto tuner is on. But without, as I said, the Xiu radio, we have to do it all manually. Okay, so press PTT and now we can auto tune or not auto tune, but we can tune. And you may see that now as our SWR is right. That is good. Okay, but now I have to go down because 50 watt with uh, uh, 5 watt without ALC connected to the amplifier is too much and it would overdrive our amplifier. So let's see what happens now. I switch back on the power amplifier. Okay, and now we uh, go to transmit and of course let's now press PTT and you see I'm able to uh, get an output of 40 watt with a good SWR. Now let us increase our input power and uh, you see with approximately one uh, watt input, right? We getting 107, uh, 105 watt um, output power. So that all seems to be working fine. Well, and I hope you get the idea. As long you have not an original Xiu radio with the original cable, which uh, is giving the right uh, bend over to the power amplifier and is giving the ALC to your little amplifier, then you have to do everything manually. So that does not mean that uh, the amplifier here is uh, broken, but it is not working as you would expect it. And you need to know that if you're interested interested in buying such an amplifier, right? And I will show you another trick. If uh, you are still uh, unhappy and you do not really know, is something wrong with my tuner here inside? Okay, you can do the following. We switch here um, our power amplifier off, okay? And then we press and hold PA button while we are switching in our power amplifier. And uh, now you may already see, let me see, so the backlight uh, is not uh, on and I have a little bit a problem here with getting it uh, in focus. Well, I know it is not perfect, but uh, what you can read here is auto tuner test. Okay, I switched on a second um, lamp here. Maybe that uh, it will help a little bit. Yeah, it uh, seems to help a little bit uh, to make it better visible. Okay, so now uh, our uh, power amplifier is in auto tuner test. And we can hear, yeah, okay, let me, that you really can uh, see it. So what we need to, to see is our power amplifier button here. And when I now press the power amplifier button, you see um, we get uh, the capacitors tested and I can scroll through. And as long there is no, um, error uh, report we can say that everything is fine and you see now it switched over to inductor and uh, now all the inductors get tested and the same procedure until we have cycled here through the whole process and you see back to capacitor test that means that um, our auto tuner test uh, was okay and we can start our power amplifier once again. Now you know your, um, your auto tuner is uh, just fine, okay? 
So, once again, what does it mean? Um, in general, we have to say if you want to use it, uh, the SWR should be below 3 to 1, then uh, ALC must be configured, uh, configured right according uh, what uh, XEU is doing with its own radio, and that is most of the time not given with uh, a different radio. Um, or you have uh, modified your, let's say, IC705, whatever, then we really need uh, to put our driving radio to 5 watt output power, which is in our case uh, 50 watt, and you have to switch off your power amplifier, and then you can transmit into the power amplifier and you can start um, you can start your uh, tuner manually until it has adapted the bad antenna to your uh, power amplifier then you can switch in your power amplifier you have to reduce your output power which was needed for your um, for your auto tuner adjustment in order to then be able to uh, transmit and once again let's uh, demonstrate it here um, until uh, we must switch it on and now we can uh, transmit here and you see now I am increasing here uh, my driving uh, signal and you see with uh, almost 1 watt I'm able to put out 106 watt. So that might help a little bit if you're using such a little amplifier to know how uh, you can uh, overcome these uh, issues. And yes, that is only a workaround. So maybe in uh, the future, uh, XIU will uh, deliver more information how you can adapt your different radios to this amplifier. Um, but or maybe there will be in the future sometimes a new uh, firmware there for our uh, amplifier here, and then it might working. But until we do not have um, new software for the amplifier one hand and uh, as long we do not have adapted other radios to the uh, amplifier it is a little bit difficult and you know how to operate it um, without all what we would expect from an amplifier that it will easily work together with your radio. So, hope that uh, helps a little bit and you see um, the amplifier itself does not have a problem. It is only how it works together with, uh, you know, another radio like an original Xiu. So, that's it for today. Hope that was a little bit helpful to understand what's going on here a little bit better.